utilizing the NVG technology for this fire season has already taught the organization a great deal so that we can utilize this and bring a, a more effective fire response to communities around the province. Hi, my name is Bryce Marrera. I'm the Aviation Preparedness Officer for the BC Wildfire Service. BC Wildfire Service's Night Vision Goggle or NVG program. Starting last spring, we made an effort to work with industry and started to explore and do trials of how BCWS could utilize this technology to support wildland fire operations. So we started using this technology this July and specifically just using one aircraft, an A-Star, with a BC Wildfire Service NVG observer and a pilot. Later in August, we expanded to using a Type 1 heavy helicopter, specifically a Sikorsky 61 that is tanked. My name is Ian Jasmine, General Manager of Top Flight Elite Training and Charter. The crew has, a, has an extensive background with wildfire, but now that we all roughly have about six to 800 hours on a set of NVG, and all of it is away from airport environments, it's mountainous terrain, and we're to the point now where we're perfecting our craft with, with the night vision. This is just a perfect opportunity for us to use that knowledge and, and start to work with, with fire now. So thankfully working with Bryce and getting the trained observers we were able to use that technology, get to know it inside out and backwards, and now be able to present that to the province and just show them really what we're actually capable of. This technology gives us a unique perspective. Uh, we've also found it's been very effective to assess initial phone reports. We've also been able to follow or track lightning after it's gone through an area and assess where lightning strikes have started new incidents. This then allows us to plan, relay that information back to the zone or fire center, and then either get crews out at night if it's needed or first thing the next morning. Hi, my name is uh, Denis Fecto. I'm the chief pilot with Canadian Helicopters. This is a new operation for our company. Although we've done other types of operation with the goggles, it's the first time we use them in, uh, in fire suppression. Uh, I've been flying since the beginning of summer on it. I see the difference. There's uh, definitely an advantage in doing this. It's another tool in the province's arsenal. It's not the ultimate tool, but it is another tool, you know, especially when you're working in close proximity to people's homes, when you know you can make a difference, uh, that's, uh, that's the greatest reward. My name is Jason Neary, and I'm a helicopter pilot at Top Plate in uh, Penticton, BC. My role with uh, BC Wildfire is flying uh, HELCO missions, uh, transitioning from day into uh, night flying, supporting you know, the crews on the ground and the other helicopters flying at night. I'm Fabrice Fininger. So I'm one of the pilots who's flying this machine here. There are two pilots. It has to be two pilots in this aircraft. The really interesting thing about this is that we can keep doing what other aircraft have been doing during the day, and potentially we can cover 24-7. So we start our days uh, when there's still plenty of light in the sky and uh, we're able to get to the incident to do a proper changeover with Helco or Bird Dog. We're able to, you know, get a good idea of what's going on on the ground, what's going on with the fire and any objectives we have for the night. It's actually a good thing when we do a cycle during the day and transition into the night and uh, again get a better picture of the whole fire because we've been able to do it a little bit during the day and then at night. At some point, we put the goggles on and we just continue the operation as we did in daylight. And it's very integrated with what's happening on the ground as well. The goggles uh, are a great tool, but at the same time, they have their limitations, just like everything else. Some of the challenges with this technology are certainly that you are flying at night. You are able to see the environment and the terrain and the fire from a different perspective, uh, but that is also limiting. Uh, we have a limited field of view under the goggles. We only have a 40 degrees field of view, so it requires a, an active scan all the time to paint the environment in our, in our brain to know, know at all times where we are. There's also things that the goggles can't see, uh, certain types of lighting, certain hazards like wires are very difficult to see on the goggles. We also have the lack of depth perception and closing rates are very difficult to assess on goggles. So it does require a scan of other instruments as well, just to complete the picture. Obviously, the, the mountain flying, working with, within terrain or difficult winds, it, it's, it's not easy. It, it can be a challenge for sure. We're definitely excited to, to see where this ends up. 
we're already starting to see the effectiveness of it. Learning how to integrate NVG technology into wildfire operations. We've come to understand where we can benefit from this technology with initial attack, even on large fires that are expanding over multiple days. Uh, but we certainly have more to learn. Over the fall and winter, we'll be debriefing and trying to understand where this technology provides its most benefits to fire ops, while also making sure that safety is still considered in everything that we do. Our goal is to expand the program to be able to operate more regularly at night, and this will include having additional staff trained as NVG observers, as well as looking to expand the number of helicopters we have on contract that can operate at night. Fire seasons have become even more challenging and all these new tools and technologies that allow us to be innovative and creative on the fire line uh, can go a big way into just us finding more success as an organization. And that will require that we continue to work with the industry and the companies and pilots who are experts with this technology. It's, it just brings me comfort knowing that it's gonna help support communities as we go forward.